planet's on fucking fire. Good morning, everybody. I'm Nikki, and this is Backyard Politics. Back in July, the ACLU sued federal agents for their attacks on the press in Portland. And just recently, Truth to Tweet sent me this article from The Intercept that says, Department of Homeland Security sued for chemical weapons use. Environmental groups sued the Department of Homeland Security and its acting secretary, Chad Wolf, in federal district, district court today over their use of what the suit called a vast arsenal of weapons on Black Lives Matter protesters in Portland. The weapons deployed by the federal agents during uh, what the Trump administration dubbed Operation Diligent Valor pose potentially grave health and environmental hazards, according to the suit, which the ACLU Foundation of Oregon filed on behalf of the Northwest Center for Alternatives to Pesticides, the Willamette River Keeper, Cascadia Wildlands, Neighbors for Clean Air, and 350PDX. The Department of Homeland Security did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Among the weapons you mentioned in the complaint are rubber bullets, CS tear gas, OC spray, also known as pepper spray, and hexochloroethane, which is also HC, smoke grenades. And I've also covered the Intercept's previous article talking about HC gas being used um, on the protesters in Portland. So go back and watch that. Um, it goes on to say, as the Intercept reported earlier this month, the U.S. military began phasing out the smoke grenades years ago because of their toxicity. Along with the thick smoke, the grenades released chemicals associated with short and long-term human health effects, including nausea, vomiting, central nervous system depression, kidney and liver damage, and cancer. There's a photo of the feds using tear gas in a neighborhood so this wasn't just affecting the protesters this was going up into the apartments and condos up above where the protests were being held the groups detail the serious risks of cs tear gas citing a 2014 report that showed it had a profound effect on the respiratory system and that U.S. Army recruits exposed to the tear gas in basic training had a nearly 2.5 times greater risk of acute respiratory illness. This, along with us being in a pandemic where the illness, COVID, is a respiratory disease. The complaint lists symptoms associated with the gas, including eye injuries, chronic pain, cough, neuro. De I can't say this, neurodegeneration and menstrual irregul irregularities. And it presents evidence that even at low concentrations, CS gas presents a risk of irreversible or other serious long-lasting adverse human health effects. According to the suit, the Department of Homeland Security violated the National Environmental Policy Act by failing to consider the potentially severe environmental and health, human health impacts of the weapons. So not only the pandemic that I just talked about, but also the fact that we're in climate catastrophe and they're polluting it even more. And these are weapons of war, for fuck's sake. Okay, goes on to say... The National Environmental Policy Act requires federal agencies to weigh the impacts of proposed actions that significantly affect the quality of the human environment. And the suit lays out evidence that, in addition to imperiling protesters uh, who have described weight loss, lung damage, exhaustion, and other symptoms after being exposed to gas and smoke released by the federal agents, the weapons may harm the environment. Several of the chemicals released by the munitions are harmful to aquatic life, according to their safety data sheets. And this is just against people who are exercising their First Amendment right. The federal agents used so much tear gas and other weapons during the face-offs with protesters that its residue was visible on streets, sidewalks, and plants, 
near the federal courthouse and ICE detention center where they were used. There are at least seven stormwater drains near the Justice Center and the ICE detention center where the agents were stationed and at least two of the drains feed directly into the nearby Willamette River. According to the suit, plaintiffs have identified tear gas and other chemical munitions floating all over the Willamette River and have seen DHS agents power washing the residue from tear gas and other chemical weapons into the storm drains. The environmental group uh, groups conclude that the chemicals have likely already entered the nearby Willamette River. If you're not familiar with the area, a lot of people, I do not recommend it, but a lot of people go swimming in the Willamette River. Also, I think this is very ironic because when I was a kid, and I don't know, maybe it was just in my area of town, or my town, but when I was a kid, they spray painted fish, like a little symbol of a fish, right above the storm drain because it was a reminder, don't flush your shit down there. And yet, this is what they're doing with tear gas and chemical munitions. Just spray it down. It's water, it'll just go. <sighs> There's so many things wrong with this. While officials in Portland have acknowledged that residue from tear gas and other chemical munitions used by the Department of Homeland Security entered the city's storm drains downtown, the federal agency has not provided a list of tear gas and chemical munitions used against protesters to the Portland Bureau of Envi Environmental Services, according to the complaint. Gee, wonder why. They'd find out that they were ex expired and God knows what was wrong with them. It also says that the federal government has denied the city environmental agency access to a catch basin behind the federal agent's barrier where they want to test stormwater there for the presence of chemicals. Go figure, because you know what they'll find. Operation Diligent Valor began when Department of Homeland Security agents descended on Portland in July, but DHS agents remain in the city. You hear that? They remain in the city and have used chemical munitions as recently as October 18th when a thermal fogger released gas into a crowd of protesters gathered outside an ICE facility. The suit asked the court to stop DHS from, suing, er, from using such weapons in Portland until its violation of the law is corrected. It's just one thing after another, man. One thing after another. I'm glad that the... Um, the ACLU is suing the uh, DHS because of this. It's a big statement and needs to be done. So please be sure to like this video, share it on your social media, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know when every video drops. I cover these Portland protests as best as I can and I, I oh, one of the only ones that I see doing it. Um, I'm just trying to keep everybody updated. It's, you know, 45 minutes north of me. So make sure you're subscribed. If you can, I'm on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash backyard politics. You can submit articles for me to discuss on the show. And until next time, Medicare be with.